Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony. In today's video, we're going to talk about Apple's recent release of iOS 11.0.3. All right, guys. So yesterday, Apple released yet again another update to iOS 11, iOS 11.0.3. Now, I know it seems to be becoming a weekly occurrence, but let's give Apple credit where credit is due. They are addressing the issues in a pretty timely fashion. Taking a look at my screen, iOS 11.0.3 is about a 276 meg download, and it addresses the following two concerns. It fixes an issue where audio and haptic feedback would not work on some iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices. Now, I haven't experienced that issue because I have an iPhone 6S Plus. The second issue addressed was where some touch input was unresponsive on some iPhone 6S displays because they were not serviced with genuine Apple parts. And you can see there's a disclaimer right down here. Apple says, non-genuine replacement displays may have compromised visual quality and may fail to work correctly. Apple certified screen repairs are performed by trusted experts who use genuine Apple parts. So basically Apple is saying, if you have a cracked display, take it to Apple, make sure it gets fixed correctly, sealed correctly. You may pay a little bit more than going to a private stand, but it's well worth the investment in your phone. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now is cut away from the video, download and install iOS 11.0.3, and then we'll run a couple of tests and compare the CPU test scores from iOS 11.0.2 to iOS 11.0.3 and see if the update, other than fixing those two issues, has any impact on performance. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have my phone updated to iOS 11.0.3, and this is build 15A432. Aside from addressing those two issues, I don't see anything different with this update. However, let's take a look at some CPU test results comparing iOS 11.0.2 to iOS 11.0.3. So here are the results for CPU test based on a benchmark score for an iPhone 6S Plus of 4,030. You can see on the left, iOS 11.0.2 came in around 4412, uh, considerably higher than the 4,030 mark. And on the right, iOS 11.0.3 uh, came in just around the same. So no basic difference in performance. Um, I don't see any options. Uh, that were added or changed in this update, just those two issues that were addressed. So that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching and see you next time.